Welcome to How to Tune Pianos, the podcast that discusses the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. My name is Mark Serzano, and I'm a registered piano technician with the Piano Technicians Guild. I work full-time as a piano technician, and I also train people to tune their own pianos. In the years that I have been teaching piano tuning, I have learned a lot about piano tuning from my students. Teaching piano tuning forces me to solidify in my own mind what I think I know so that I can explain it effectively. It has been said that those who can't do teach. It may also be true that those who can't teach do. I've had music lessons from masters who couldn't explain how they did something. It was so natural to them. For me, I believe those who can do but want to do it better teach. That's why I teach piano tuning. I enjoy teaching piano tuning, but I have made a few mistakes in the past. That's why I don't have any of my lessons online yet. But in the last few years, my teaching method has improved to the point where my students are getting good results. And now I'm ready to share my method with other people, like you, who are interested in the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. I'm looking forward to sharing what I know and have learned, and I hope to learn a lot more about the subject with this podcast and all other online materials I'm planning to create. This podcast, How to Tune Pianos, is about the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. Let's break it down. A hobby, you say, Mark? Why, yes, my friend. You may not realize this, but there are many people who tune their own pianos. I know this because I used to tune their pianos. That is, until they took my course. Some people think that's a bad idea. Maybe so, but I have to follow my passion, and that passion is teaching others how to tune pianos. So I may lose a tuning customer, but the reward I feel knowing that I taught someone how to do something they're proud of doing and help them save money and keep their piano sounding reasonably in tune is worth it for me. And I'm not the only one. There are correspondence courses, university courses, books, DVDs, and individuals like myself who are teaching, training, and sharing this skill with others. One warning though, not all technicians are as understanding and generous with their time to newcomers to this activity. Rightfully so, some technicians are threatened by newcomers because when the subject is taught properly, it is possible to pass on enough information and skill someone with reasonable aptitude and musical ability to learn how to tune a piano and begin charging money. I know because I have trained some of my own competition, but I still maintain this has made me a better technician, certainly a happier one. Despite there being unfriendly as well as friendly technicians out there, especially on certain public piano forums, this place, howtotunepianos.com, is designed to be a safe haven for people, just like you, who are searching for sites, reading blogs, and watching bad YouTube videos, trying to piece together a method for how to tune pianos. Tuning is really not that hard when presented in a logical and efficient manner. My courses are 20-hour crash courses, so I have to be economical and efficient while still presenting all the information that will allow someone to learn how to accurately and precisely tune a piano. But how can you do that in 20 hours? That's impossible! Aha! I see one of those unfriendly technicians has infiltrated our haven. Out! Be gone, you bearer of bad tidings! Stay if you dare to learn the answer to your skepticalness. How do you do it, I ask? Have a seat, my friend and I will tell you. It is really quite simple. There are only two elements to my courses that make quick learning possible. These are the same elements that will be used to present much of the material for my website, howtotunepianos.com. First, I have streamlined my course, streamlined my course, rather, for musicians only. In the past, not only did I accept non-musicians into the course, but I effectively had to teach two courses simultaneously, basic tuning for non-musicians and basic tuning for musicians. No matter how I tried, non-musicians never learned enough for me to feel proud of what I was teaching. 
Yes, they got value from the course in the information I presented, but they had little or no practical skill to show at the end. True, they could have kept practicing and improved quite a lot, but for me, I was more excited to see what musicians were able to do with the skills and techniques I taught them. Also, trying to teach two courses simultaneously was just not efficient enough for a crash course. So, when I teach just to musicians, they come to the course already knowing half the course material already. The musical theory, especially. When it comes to teaching piano tuning, there are many textbooks out there who dis that discuss it. And personally, I have a pet peeve when it comes to piano tuning textbooks. Every single text I've read goes into explicit detail when it comes to scales and intervals, not to mention the math of equal temperament, but they are all weak on the actual process of piano tuning. For example, not one text I have ever read shows you how to insert a mute strip into the piano so you can tune single strings. That's the first step in tuning a piano. So, with musicians, I skip the music theory stuff and get right to the tuning. In fact, I originally used to start with exercises because I heard that's how the schools did it. The problem was, students would do the unison exercise and then ask, okay, after I tune the unisons, what do I do next? As a teacher, those kinds of questions are impossible to answer because the student is completely confused with the teaching method. And that is the fault of the teacher. So instead of trying to explain the benefits of using exercises to learn how to tune a piano, which would have taken extra time anyways, I decided to teach how to tune a piano step by step, starting with how to insert the mute strip. However, there was a major problem with this method that actually turned out to be a stroke of brilliance and helped create my program as it is today. You see, the first step after muting the piano is to tune A4 to a tuning fork or sound source. This step involves almost all the theoretical elements that are needed to understand this one simple procedure. For example, the subjects that you would need to know and would be taught just to tune A4 to the fork are the harmonic series, coincidental partials, unison tuning, beats and out-of-tune unisons, check notes, friction in the pin block and bearing points, deformation of the tuning pin, and the elasticity of the non-speaking length of the piano string, as well as the hammer angle. And that has nothing to do with the actual challenge of hearing beats, which is the m most important thing for learning how to tune a piano orally, which means tuning by ear. So, you can see why I didn't decide to start with this method. The amazing thing I found out, though, with musicians, and especially gifted and formally trained musicians, was that they ate this stuff up. They didn't find it overwhelming. They found it challenging. So, I took this a step further. I rewrote my basic manual and took some of the material from the advanced tuning course and presented it to my beginning students. This is the second element to my courses that allows students to get precise and accurate results. I teach advanced techniques to beginners. You see, in my own case, I began, like most other technicians, learning how to tune pianos, using some basic techniques that were easy to understand, but produced mediocre tunings at best. It wasn't until I learned new, more advanced techniques and threw away the older basic techniques did I begin to get really good results. Now, I believe with proper and efficient guidance, students who are skilled musicians can skip the basic techniques and move straight to advanced tuning technique. Now, not only do my students enjoy the challenge of the course, but the level of the tunings produced at the end of the week truly inspires me. And that's why I'm ready to present some of these ideas in my podcast and blog, How to Tune Pianos. 
In these podcasts and blogs, I also hope to present elements of the piano tuner's life that will inspire and entertain you. From stories and interviews with actual technicians to business coaching and marketing techniques that work for this specific trade, How to Tune Pianos hopes to be the resource for people who are truly interested in the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. No matter how you are consuming this content by blog, podcast, or YouTube video, please take a moment now to subscribe or sign up to find out when my articles and videos will be ready for you to read or watch. I'm excited to share all I know and to introduce you to some very interesting people and information about how to tune pianos. Thanks for watching.